who would have thought that under that rough exterior, there was such a ridiculous sofa covering? Uh, uh, Rufus, there you are. Stay where you are! My optician knows karate! Uh, but Rufus, it's me, Bozo. <laughs> you look ridiculous! Ridiculously good. Uh, you don't think this hat makes my face look fat? And the ruffles pinch a little in the crotch. Nah, it's supposed to be that way. Just right for a date. And is that aftershave I smell? No, it's a wolfie Oh, good. Uh, thinking ahead. So you're, you're all set then. I don't know. Do you really think this is a good idea? Of course. It's gonna be great. Last time you said that, I got stuck on a reef. Yes, but the view was fabulous. Come on, you big baby. Oh, good grief. How did I get myself into this? You nasty brat! How many times do you have to tell you that I didn't shoot your grandpa? Well, at least not on purpose. What? Bozo? Is that really you? Um, no. Come on in. I don't want to have to dispose of the body of yet another noise pollution officer in the canal. Come on! And now you tell me exactly where you have been all this time. Well, I, I, I was on my way to... Uh, <laughs> Well, what are you doing with that machete? Please calm down, will you? Aren't you at Hulk glad to see me? Come on, Bambina. You know exactly what's gonna happen. First, you're m mad as a hornet. But as soon as I say this certain line... What's that? over this gin. I think you better leave now. But... Out! Now! See, I told you. Shh. Did I just hear something? No, I don't think so. I mean, doormats can't talk, right? Great, now the pipe's closed. But it didn't do me any good. I'd better leave it open. And keep it in the back of my mind, just in case. Oh, Rufus, do you really think that's a good idea? You're not gonna give up just like that, are you? To tell you the truth. Come on, one more time. If you prefer to have a full set of legs, you should never, ever... You again! Come on in! Come on! You've got some nerve showing up here again! I'm just like a boomerang. W wait, that wasn't a suggestion. Come on, Bambina. Can we skip this bit? All I have to do is say my line and... Ah, not a 
again? How am I supposed to concentrate while he's yelling like that? Y you know, I, I find it quite romantic. Out! Now! You just don't get it! If you want to meet Jamaica, keep it up! What the? What do you want this time? Huh. Somehow you remind me of my girlfriend. At least one particular third of her. Is she that fat? No, I, I was talking about the temperamental part of her. Fat and cranky then. <laughs> I'll, uh, <clears throat> I guess I'll be on my way then. <laughs> yeah, don't even think about bugging me again. Ancora? Oh, stupido! <laughs> oh, yeah. Another new airbag? How many replacement airbags does Doc have? Oh, Rufus, do you really think that's a good idea? You're not gonna give to tell you. Come on! <sighs> when? If you're pro- Come on in! Come on! You go- I'm just- Wait- Come on, can we skip this bit? All I have to do. Find it. Out! Oh, Lucas, do you really... You just don't know the right moves. It wasn't my fault. It was that gondolier. His caterwauling totally killed the romantic mood. I hope he's not gonna show up again. May the junk crabs get him. Yeah, right. <laughs> the what? Junk crabs. Those pesky parasites that hang out in flotsam. Those critters are a real plague. Rumor has it they came to the floating black market stowed away in transportation crates. Oh, you mean junk crabs. Forget those pests. Who needs a plague of parasites when you've got Rufus? <laughs> you take care of your bambina. I'll see to this gondolier. Oh. Do you really think it's worth all this trouble? Actually, I've got... No problem. I'll wait a little while then. You can use the time to reflect upon your mistakes. Thank you.
empty, empty except for the bird droppings. There's nothing here but bird droppings. And there's enough of those on Bozo's deck. I didn't have to come here for them. What an ugly mess. It must belong to an extremely ugly bird. Terrific. Even more filth. Ow! Darn death trap! Ow! 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 Oh, look, children, it's Hoedown the Garden Gnome. Hey, hands off the tree. Okay. What? That wasn't my hand. Because, because I did it with my feet. You see, here, feet, boom. <laughs> Oh, come on! That was funny! <laughs> oh! What happened? And why does my back suddenly feel like somebody scratched the word revenge into it with a rusty rake? Ugh! Must be the stress. My botanical expertise tells me that this here is a, a, a plant. I uh, never touch stuff that's upstream. out again. I didn't even get his answer. I've got enough loose dirt in my coat. If I need more soil, I should look for an appropriate container. That may be just dirt, but it's no worse than the rest of the stuff I carry around. off. If you're looking for someone who's got stuff to spare, go to Seagull. I only have things I really need. That is so pitiful. I don't know if I should laugh or cry. I'll try laughing. <laughs> oh yeah, good decision. Hey, hand! If you're looking for someone who's got... I only have things... That is so pit. I don't know if I should. I'll try laughing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good.
If you suck at everything, you might as well become a poet. Knock, knock. Hmm? Who or what are you? They call me Rufus. I'm Crane, but everybody here calls me the poet. Who calls you that? I, I just heard it for the first time. You probably move in the wrong circles. Oh, yeah? If you mean those circles that don't include your ego, you're probably right. That's what I'm talking about. Your place looks a bit austere. I've got everything I need. Yeah, except for an interior designer. Do you know Captain Seagull? <laughs> you mean the idiot who lives above me in the villa? I'm rather fed up with him. Can I borrow some of your things? No. If you're looking for someone who's got stuff to spare, go to Seagull. I only have things I really need. You're such a pathetic wretch. But I'm rich in spirit. Isn't that the same? Typical. Those up there do whatever they want. Yeah, were you even listening? They want to blow up Deponia. Nobody will survive. Don't you want to do anything about that? But of course. I shall write a cynical poem. I shall call it, They Think There's Something Better. And this poem is supposed to inspire the masses to rise up? Not really. The masses are always too stupid for my intellectual flights of fancy. See you later. Right. Leave me alone. I've got something for you. No thanks. I have everything I need. His place is so sparsely furnished, there isn't even any trash lying around. His place is so sparse, there isn't even any... Impressive digs. Ahem. Have you ever heard of knocking? Of course, but I find their new album too commercial. What are you doing here? Don't you at least wipe your feet? Not since my eighth birthday. Back then, my... My... Dad? Rufus? Dad! You're Captain Seagull? I... Ahem. Your shoes, Rufus. Oh. Ahem. Oh, uh, excuse me, sir. Wow, Dad, this is really a totally radical kick-ass location. And a doormat made of real wombat. Respect. Doormat? Yeah, it's, it's hanging right next to the door. That's my Sunday coat. Oh. Listen, Rufus, I'm a busy man. Just tell me what brought you here, and then run along and play again, okay? Aren't you at all glad to see me? Yes, of course I'm glad. I'm just very busy right now. If you're a good boy, and let your old man finish his work, then maybe later we can go feed the seagulls. Feed the seagulls? Are you kidding? I have important things to do. Then it won't matter if I haven't got time for you until later, right? Later. Later. You always say that. I thought you went to Elysium. <laughs> Elysium? Yes, Elysium, you know. You left me to move to Elysium. You can't tell me you don't remember that. Oh, right. <laughs> yes, I remember, and how. Just what was I thinking? After all, everybody knows that it's impossible to escape Deponia. What a wild and crazy guy I was back then. Always reaching for the stars. Today, I know it's not worth the effort to pursue such crazy ideas. Once you're as old as your dad... I'm sure you'll understand. You can so totally forget that. I'll never be that old, loser. You changed your name? Nothing to do with you, honestly. But still, please don't go around telling everybody you're my son, all right? Dad? 
How come you're talking to me like that? You may not have noticed, but I am no longer a child. Ah, you're all grown up now. Yeah, ha 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 Like with a house of your own and a steady income. Well, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's, um... I'll take that for a no. I'm a tinkerer. I even had a real workshop in Kuvak. <laughs> you're not talking about that toy workbench I once gave you when you were little. Well, I'm, st I'm still way more grown up than you are. So there. Don't you even want to know what I've been up to all this time? Oh, please don't tell me you wreak some sort of havoc again. What was it this time? Did you set something on fire? Did you steal anything? Destroy someone else's property? Well, I mean, you, you've got to see that in context. I have to stop the Organon from blowing up Deponia. Then what are you doing here in the floating black market? The Organon are far away. And if anything should explode here, it'll probably be your fault. Yeah, you just don't understand. I don't? So when has the Organon ever blown up anything? Maybe not so far, but, but, but... And how many detonations have you caused this month? Well, I, 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 I... That shuts you up, huh? I'm, I'm still counting. I need to go look after my Elysian girlfriend. Yes, of course. What was her name again? Babsy Boo? No, not Babsy Boo. She's a true Elysian. Her name is Goal. Wait a minute. Are you serious? <laughs> now you're impressed, huh? You meet an Elysian and then bring her here? Didn't I teach you anything? No. You were a great parent. You didn't leave her alone, did you? Don't worry. She's in a safe place. Down in Gulliver's Tavern at the harbor. Okay. Looks like I failed to teach you a few essential facts of life. Really, Dad? Let's not go there. I know all about the bees and the flowers, although I may be a little unclear about the concept of pollination. But I'm a real pro when it comes to building hives. If, if, if you know what I mean. You're giving me hives, all right. But let's get back on topic. What I was trying to say is that obviously you never learned how to treat a lady. Have you at least invited her to dinner? Well, there was this bowl of peanuts. I'm talking about a date, Rufus. A romantic date. Hmm. The only restaurant that might be suitable is Shea Schlumpy. At least they offer an exclusive view. But alas, all they have on their menu is platypus. What's wrong with platypus? It's so vulgar. It lives among the flotsam and feeds on table scraps. It could even be the heraldic beast of Deponia. No. Platypus dishes would only remind her that she is stranded in the boondocks. You must see to it that Platypus completely disappears from the menu at Schlumpy's. Can you do that? Ah, piece of cake for a romantic like me. Once you've done that, you may reserve a table in my name. But not before then. Understand? I haven't told you the half of it. Oh my, Rufus. What else have you gotten yourself into? I'm actually about to go to Elysium. <laughs> Good luck. I'm serious. I'm going to Elysium. Yeah, right. Come on, Rufus. I am truly flattered that you want to follow in my footsteps. But do you really have to step into every single pile of poop on the way? Not everyone. For one thing, I would never leave my eight-year-old son behind. Really? So you would take him along? Yes, I would. Well, if he takes after you, I hope you'll remember to bring a little shovel and a plastic bag. I'll tell you some other time. Sounds good. In the meantime, I'll consult my legal advisor. What? I need to write instructions for my staff. And you consider that more important than talking to your son? We haven't seen each other in years. So why would every second suddenly count now? I am responsible for this house and its personnel. I am also responsible for doing important things, like saving the world. Then why are you still hanging around here? Do I still have to hover over you to make sure you're completing your chores? Um, about the- Stop hemming and hawing and stand up straight, boy. What do you want to know? What was it again that I- The platypus- I don't care- Deal! Just promise me that nobody will be injured in the process. Too late. I already said deal. <sighs> Don't go away. I'll be back soon. Forget that line. Not even an eight-year-old would buy it.
This is no luxury villa. There's even parasites nesting here. That is my aquarium. I collect rare ornamental fish. Rarely significant, maybe. And they're tiny, too. Hmm. I should actually feed them again. I need breadcrumbs. There. Here, Rufus. Be so good and take this memo to the servant's mailbox. Pshh! Who does he think he is? Well, he is my... Ah, oh, whatever. Anyway, I'm not his errand boy. Hands off the ornamental fish! Hey, I just wanted to pet them. I said no! Aw, oh, man. Secret Doors in Bookshelves, Volume 1. Secret Doors in Bookshelves, Volume 2. Gah, this library is a total waste of space. As a real gentleman, I read a lot. As a real blah, 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 that doesn't change the fact that the shelf is big and ugly. Besides, it's too dark in here to read. Ah, that's true. I should buy a new crystal chandelier when I have the chance. But for now, a few candles will suffice. I need candles. There. This is no luxury villa. This place is overrun with weeds. Those are flowers, Rufus. I have them brought from the garden as decoration. What? <laughs> These hideous vegetables? Uh, they could actually use a bit more water. I need water for the flowers. There. There's nothing here, and there's enough of... You can't build a functional bird trap from stuff like that. I've really tried. What is that? A message from Captain High and Mighty? You can keep it. I don't need any of the stuff he needs. Well, this message may interest you much more. What? Show me. I need bread. Damn! He needs bread. I read that. And you have bread. Yes, but I... Well? I don't need that sort of thing. Go ahead and take it if you want it. <laughs> you can bet on it. I have another memo from Seagull. Oh dear, I've got a bad feeling about this. I need candles. <sighs> that I don't need them anymore, do I? Go on, help yourself. Mail from Seagull! Oh, please, no! 
I need water, so the water too. Hey, have the ashes of my poor mother. I thought you only had things you really need here, and that doesn't look absolutely essential. I said, hands off. Why does everybody always say that? Hey, if you're looking for someone who's got stuff to spend, I only have things I... This is no luxury villa. The whole wall is open here. That's called a picture window, Rufus. This way I always have an eye on the entire black market. But there's a terrible draft. Ah, the floor heating is actually supposed to compensate for that. I need coal. There. Can't you do anything on your own? That is why I have servants. Oh, yeah? Do they wipe your butt, too? Oh, that reminds me. Ah, I stop need scribbling. Toilet. Haven't you noticed that this doesn't save you any time? On the contrary, you spend all your time writing notes. Mind your tone, young man. Pardon me, sir. Oh, wonderful. Now I've lost my thread of thought. What was I going to write down? Ah, that was it. I need thread. Hands off the ornamental fit. Oh man. Look, Dad. Heavens, boy. Did you pocket someone else's property again? Haven't we discussed your kleptomania problem in depth? You put that back right now, young man. Right now. There's no need to wash my stuff. I want to prepare a brain operation, not open an ice cream parlor, or whatever it is that you need clean stuff for. Look, Dad! Heavens, boy! Did you pocket someone? Haven't we discussed- You put that back right n right now! Guess what I have here? Another memo. Bingo! I need the thread. <gasps> what else? There goes the thread. Here I am again, and this time... Just take everything you can find. I don't need anything at all anymore. Except for a quiet moment to cry myself to sleep. Hey! What are you- You said I can take everything. But those are my mother's ashes. Hey, I didn't make the rules. I just bent them a little. <laughs>
ugly bird. As much as I hate narrow-minded specialists, the hat is pretty cool. Welcome to Platypus Paradise. What platitudes may I offer you today? What the heck is this place? It's a souvenir shop. We have everything a tourist could possibly desire. Platypus greeting cards, platypus candy, platypus hats, platypus back scratchers, platypus jewelry, platypus figurines for the mantelpiece, platypus cuddly toys, t-shirts with amusing platypus slogans, and music cartridges with platypus noises. <laughs> well stocked. <clears throat> I take it you're into platypuses. Sure looks like it, huh? Platypuses are my livelihood. If you know where to find them, you can make a small fortune off of them. By selling back scratchers to tourists? <laughs> you have no idea. For one thing, I supply them to the platypus restaurant. I'm also a bookmaker for platypus betting and chairman of the platypus club. Platypuses even inspire my poetry. You, uh, write poetry about platypuses. Yep, mainly for greeting cards, but they also appear every week in Platypus Daily. Have you got anything that's not made from platypuses? Well, the platypus figurines are made of clay, but I use platypus wax for the finish. You also supply the platypus restaurant. Yep. There's good eating on one of those things. What if there's a shortage? Now that would be a disaster. The restaurant would have to completely change its menu. But it'll never come to that. There are unguarded nests everywhere on the floating black market. What do you mean by unguarded nests? In every generation, there's an especially vicious platypus that guards the nest of the bride. What could they possibly do to you? Try to bite your fingers? Let me tell you. They're evil little critters. Oh, don't tell me they can bite through gloves. And jock straps. Oh. So you're interested in nest guardians. Club members get to read all about them in the platypus field guide. Uh, <laughs> yippee. <clears throat> What's the deal with this platypus club? Oh, it's great. As a member, you always get brand new information from the world of platypuses delivered to your doorstep. You'll be the first to learn about the wonders of platypus procreation. And you'll know the platypus migration routes even before winter comes. And you'll have feathers grow on your hump. <laughs> platypuses have neither feathers nor humps. As a member of the club, you'd know that. Upon registration, every new member receives the latest edition of the Platypus Field Guide. I hid some trial members cards in the restaurant's fortune cookies. With a little help from Dame Fortune, you might be able to join the inner circle of platypus enthusiasts. If Dame Fortune really keeps herself busy with that kind of humbug, it explains the bad luck I have. Uh, how can I be- It's easy! I hit some trial mem- <laughs> really? Which once again proves that luck is relative. <sighs> what else can you tell me about platypuses? Quite a lot, but that would take all day. And <laughs> nobody wants that. If you were a member of the Platypus Club, you could look it all up for yourself then. Ha <laughs> ha yes, life could be so beautiful. <laughs> Grab a bus, Platypus. Yes, I will, Ducky Bill. The Big Platypus Field Guide, 3rd Edition. Hands off! The field guide is only for men. Even though I really resent having to ask this question, uh, how can I be- It's easy! I hit some trap. <laughs> really? Huh. They only have dishes made from platypus here. Lady Goal won't like that at all. I'd like to order some takeout. Very well. Just make your choice from the menu.
Is this your order? Yes. Why? Right. Uh, that comes to uh, zero slotty. <laughs> that deserves a large tip. Let's say 30%. How very generous. And you can keep the change. I may not have any cash on me, but <laughs> I do have this très intéressant objet trouvé. And? And you've got a, a, a platypus field guy. Maybe we could come up with a deal. Sorry, not interested. I already hooked that. There's no need to wash my stuff. I want to prepare a brain operation for whatever it... This crankshaft without a crank is missing something. What? This crankshaft without a crank. What? What's that supposed to be? A fortune cookie. Since you're bragging about your oh-so-terrific fisherman's luck, maybe you could prove it for a change. Huh, if that's all... There you go. I won. Hooray. What? Show me. Nothing doing. I won that. And I always wanted to be, um, a member of the Platypus Club. But it was my cookie. Ah, shut up. Here's your stupid membership card. I'm already a member of that silly club. Once accidentally fell on a scratch card. And now, leave me alone with your nonsense. I'm a member of the Platypus Club now. Congratulations! You are now officially part of the Platypus community. Will I be expected to shave my head or wear robes? Nope, but you get a free copy of the Platypus Field Guide. Is there a <laughs> no way to avoid that? Keep it safe. Someday it might save your life. Big Platypus Field Guide, 3rd Edition. Let's see if it says anything useful in there. Hmm, this is interesting. Apparently, in every generation, there is one platypus of each type that guards the nests against thieves. The eggs of these nest guardians are well hidden by the mother. There are four types of platypus, so a total of four nest guardians. Of course! I just need to find the four nest guardian eggs and hatch them. Ha! <laughs> then the corresponding platypuses won't be on the menu anymore, and I can finally invite Gold to dinner! <laughs> this plan is like so crazy, so crazy, it just has to work. Thank you.
<laughs> well. Hey, stop right there. I don't think I can pull this off without tools. Perhaps these two rocks and the meerkat trap over there could help. Ah, gotcha! You thought you could fool me, didn't ya? But the wiser man never gives in.
What platypuses brood in blazing fire? Time to look it up in the field. Oh, yeah. That would be fire platypuses. Oh, who's supposed to remember? Du, du, da, du, du, du. It's empty if you don't count all the creepy crawlies. If you don't count all the creepy crawlies. According to the field guide, earth platypuses brood in frozen soil. But winter won't be here for quite a while yet. And anyway, I've got enough loose dirt in my coat. If I need more soil, there's no need to wash my stuff. I want to prepare whatever it is that you need, please. According to the field guide, so far, so good. There's no need to wash my... I want to prepare whatever it... Better not, or I won't be able to tell them apart anymore. Here. Gucci goo. Well, hello. So young and already so aggressive. Here, platy platy. Well, hello. So young and already here, platy platy. Well, hello. So young. <laughs> totally nuts. Here, platy platy. Well, hello, so young.
It may not be a water platypus, but it swims like one. Here, platy platy. Well, hello. So young and already so aggressive. Here, platy platy. Well, so y I should be able to free it from the ice with that. Ah! Cold! Let's go, my duck-billed friend. There's a nest to guard. <laughs> kind of cute. 